So we'd like to say hello to all the members and people who attend Ness Avenue Baptist Church. I'm Scott uh, Campbell, my wife Nancy. We've been in Quebec 33 years as missionaries primarily to French Canadians. And we are currently working in a French Canadian church, Assemblée Chrétienne, uh, in Laval, Quebec. And we're happy to give you today an update. Each of us will say something. So, Nancy. Oh, okay. Uh, as Scott said, we've been here uh, serving the Lord for 33 years. And those 33 years, Mass Avenue has been a faithful partner. So, first of all, we just want to express our gratitude for that, for your interest, your love, your prayers, and your support. Um, Scott mentioned one of the things you were hoping to get from us was prayer requests, and um, thank you. I think the big thing um, is the challenge right now, of course, with COVID is to be alert to the opportunities that God is giving us to serve. One of our members is in a chat room, and she's been able to lead a Muslim to Christ who had, who's just been really turned upside down by the whole COVID epidemic. Um, another young couple in our church um, was neighbors with an elderly couple who were taken to hospital a day apart by ambulance. The man passed away and the woman has, um, through it all, received Christ. And we were able to, um, I put out the word to ladies in the church if they wanted to provide meals in the family. The response was so enthusiastic. The family was actually overwhelmed <laughs> by the amount of uh, food that showed up at their home. And so we're trying to build bridges with this lady and support her in her time of grief and being a new disciple. Um, we've been in face mask production for our food bank. Mm. On the one hand, you think little things like that. But of course, uh, that's what the body of Christ does in um, these times. Well, and we've been working in other ways. Uh, even before COVID, we've had for many years a food bank that uh, once a week, every Tuesday afternoon, we serve anywhere between 25 and 30 uh, uh, families who are in need. And fortunately, because we uh, are, this is considered an essential service, we have been able to continue that contact with those families during the COVID crisis, of course, we wear face masks and we clean, you know, all the different uh, boxes and plastic containers we use. But the contact continues to be good with those 25 to 30 families. I'm sure, again, some will respond, start coming to church. We already have a few out of that ministry that have become Christian. So that's an exciting, exciting ministry uh, currently in the Assemblée Chrétienne Church. That was three minutes. <laughs> I guess Nancy thinks we should finish. <laughs> uh, anyway, we really thank you. One other thing, I'd just like to mention the one other thing. Our church is developing a closer and closer relationship to Gordon and Anna McKenzie. And I believe you people as well have a very good relationship with them. And so when we heard their... Uh, uh, have heard them speaking on Zoom about six, eight weeks ago. We've been able to raise some money to help feed the poor uh, in that area. We already support the McKenzie's. We're also looking at supporting a uh, child through them in Manos Extendida. So we're encouraged that even during this time, the church is not just focused in a way on our needs close to home, but we're very aware as well as what is happening what is happening with Gordon and Anna. So thank you, and we'll stay in touch. Okay. Thank you, Ness. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.